This program has been made possible in part by Feza Yarns, America's source for novelty yarns. Fezayarns.com. I'd like to welcome KT Baldazaro and welcome to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. And you and you have this wonderful creative yarn. I'm just fascinated by this scarf. Tell us about it. Thank you. Um, it's just a basic Celtic cable pattern that I've worked with this this type of multi-stranded yarn where they they tie tie it all together and you get this entire colorway effect, which is really cool. This is all one skein, right? Yes, this is all one ball of the yarn, and it's doing the color work itself. It's tied it all itself. They've designed it to go from different colors. So I, I don't really have to worry about it. I can just work my pattern and, and let what happened happens. Well, and let's look at the ball, the purple ball. Now, you see the purple, but as it undoes or as you knit with it, it's going to come up with these wonderful colors or similar colors? It's, um, different colors. Each ball is going to be a little bit different. Um, it, it looks like it's mostly purple, but the next thing underneath it could be yellow, it could be aquamarine, it could be anything. It's going to change color and texture, which is fun because it's like a little primer. You know, I want to learn how to knit with a little bit of this yarn. Okay, let's move on to flag yarn. Okay, give me some fur yarn so you can learn how to cable with a whole bunch of different te but textures. Also, how exciting to have a new color come out from underneath. And you have attached, what is that attached to the, the ball of yarn? These are um, bits of tassel that just come with it. So uh -huh. if I wanted to tassel this, if I wanted to put some fringe on it, I don't have to calculate that into the yardage. I can just you know, use some bits extra, and they're all pre-cut. Well, and now, Katie, let's show them this, because this is three yarns, to, am I saying that correctly, put together? Yeah, it's three yarns put together. Um, and they're not all the same weight, either, are they? No, this one's a little bit thicker, thinner, and then this one's got that boucle texture to it. And it's not always going to be three, either. Sometimes you're going to get two, four, it's going to change. And so when you're working with a really bulky yarn like this, that's got a bunch of different strands, it can be a little bit difficult to cable. It can can slow you down, which can make a scarf like this take more than it should, a couple of days more than it should, and can be a little discouraging. Now, do you twist it so that the three stay together as you're working with it? Um, I try to. I work continental, so I try and twist it and put it through my hands. Okay. This is actually, I will lotion up my hands sometimes just to give it a little bit of slick together. Okay. Um, you know, a non-greasy lotion. They, they make knitter's hand lotion. Right. Now you're going to cable, so show us the cable. Yeah, I'm just going to show you a couple of little tricks that I do when I'm cabling so that I can go a little bit faster. Now this is another one skein pattern, mm -hmm. um, and these are going to be free on your website. And we're just going, instead of going from here to here, we're going horizontally to create a different stripe okay. to have the color You're fall. going lengthwise. Yeah. All right. Oops, got it and you're what, on a 15, 16? This is a 15. Okay. So yeah, when you're working with this many strands, you're going to either be using a 15, 17. I try and stop at 19 so I don't okay. feel like I'm broom sticking it. Right. So we just get the first two stitches out of the way, work to, work to our cable. All right. So you're just knitting two stitches. Mm-hmm. And then in the directions, it tells us to take these next two stitches and put uh -huh. them on a cable needle. Okay. I like to use a double pointed long needle of the same size. So this is a double pointed size 15. Mm -hmm. You can even use a 13 or a slightly larger, just what you have around. Okay. And just take them off. Mm -hmm. And I hold it with this hand. Okay. Try and not. With your left hand. Yep, with okay. the thumb. Try and not put it down so that I wind up wasting time putting it down. Okay. Then you're going to knit the next yep. one, you're next gonna, two? Next two stitches from the needle get knit. Okay. And while I'm doing that, I just put this needle in my hand. I'm holding mm -hmm. on to it. It's coming along with us. Mm -hmm. I get to here. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two options you can do here. I know my sister prefers to put them back on the needle and address them. Okay. I prefer to just address this needle. It's been just down. Just move them down. Yep. I pull this up a bit, mm -hmm. move this down a bit. You want to make sure you don't lose that Exactly. Stitch, right? Make sure you don't lose what you've already done. <laughs> right. So that this is now the needle that we're talking to. And you have it all in your hand, very simply. Yep, so that you're basically trying to keep it in your hand as much as you possibly yeah. can. So you're eliminating a cable needle. Yeah. Yeah. That is really nice. You did that very well with such bulky yarn. 
And now over here, tell us about this wonderful, wonderful shawl. This is a great example of this yarn going horizontally. Whenever mm -hmm. you have a multi-stranded yarn, it's really fun to try and work it lengthwise and to see what you're going to get for that. Um, it's all garter stitch, just, just basically knit, knit a square. And mm -hmm. uh, these are those little bits of extra string we were talking about. And you put them on the end? Mm -hmm. oh. And they're all ready and they're all ready cut for, for you, ready to go. <laughs> feel like a mastermind when you're doing that. And here, tell us about these garments. Now these garments, I, we're moving away from single skein patterns to some multiple skein patterns. Um, this one's just a nice, simple sweater jacket here that works on the horizontal so you can see the different um, stripes that come out. Some people talk to me about how do you keep the yarn the same? I want the left side of this jacket to look exactly like the right side of this jacket. As long as you start at the same place, if you're starting with the same yarn as you started on the other side, you will get the same pattern. Okay. They do sequence in the same okay. way. I like a little bit of wabi-sabi, if you can take a look at this one over here, and just letting it fall as it will. The sleeves don't match. I think it's I more really interesting. I really like that. It's way more interesting. Mm -hmm. And why bother yourself fretting over does mm -hmm. it match, does it match? Enjoy the knitting, enjoy the yarn, let it come to you when it comes to you. Right. It's, it's a top-down design, so you do get the continuous stripe from the top so that you get this uh -huh. uh, oh, solid neckline, but then the sleeves are done independently. I like the way it rolls over at the neck. And it was fun. I agree with you. I love having my sleeves different. Yes. I mean, anybody can have their sleeves. Yeah, and it, it feels so anal retentive, and it looks a little bit less store-bought when you do it that way. Are there any other way. tricks I should know with this wonderful yarn? Um, just when you're looking at that particular sweater, you can see that there's a little bit of fuzzy yarn in it. You don't always get the hair yarn. Sometimes you get flag yarn. Sometimes you get different yarn. It would just be fun. Yeah, it is. Just don't worry about it and, and just work slowly at first. It's a, Like I said, it's a great. primer for each texture. That's great. Well, thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.